Before beginning, make sure to have the following items. Start by making ring cuts of the cable sheath spanning 70 inches apart and expose the buffer tubes. Measure 3 inches from each side of the ring cut locations and trim the central strength members. Your cable should now look as indicated in the drawing. Your grommet strain relief kit should include the following. Slide the central strength member underneath the clamp and tighten to secure it into place. Position the hose clamp approximately one quarter of an inch below the ring cut and inside of the mounting grooves, then tighten down. Repeat this process on the opposite end. Route the buffer tube around the inside perimeter. Branch off the necessary buffer tubes by cutting them on the exit side and separating them. Prep your exit cable and route it through the appropriate grommet. Slide the central strength member underneath the clamp and tighten down to secure them into place. Position the hose clamp around the cable and inside of the mounting grooves. Then tighten down. Typical network planning options for the Starfighter Express include a ring cut option, Fusion Splicing Pigtails Patching a Field Installable Connector Your Splice Trace Port Kit should include the following Secure the mounting bracket with two screws onto the strain relief bracket of the Starfighter Express. Route the slack cable around the inside perimeter and secure it with the Velcro straps. Place the splice tray on the mounting bracket and secure it with two screws. Prepare to splice the 250 micron from the buffer tubes to the 250 micron from the subscriber drop cable. 
wrap strips of self-adhesive Velcro to the buffer tubes for a layer of protection and trim the excess Velcro. Place the fibers into the corresponding splice tray grooves and align the Velcro over the splice tray holes. Thread a zip tie through the holes and tighten down over the Velcro. Trim the excess. Repeat this process where necessary. Secure your splice fiber into the splice chip and install the lid. Remove both the male and female end caps and plug the jumper into the appropriate adapter. Repeat this for each jumper. Make sure all the fibers are tucked away neatly with the supplied Velcro straps. For the bulkhead adapter installation, please refer to the installation manual. Measure the circumference of the cable with the provided measurement guide. When pulled tight, the red arrows will indicate the correct amount of layers to remove from the multi-grommet fitting. Remove the proper amount of layers and insert around the cable vertically. Any grommet not being used must have a supplied pin inserted to ensure a watertight seal. Make sure all the fibers are tucked away neatly with the supplied Velcro straps, making sure they avoid being pinched in closing the enclosure. Applying mastic tape around the cable will ensure a tighter seal. Before closing, apply the silicone sealant packet to all the appropriate places. Apply around the entire grommet and across all areas to be sealed. Close the lid and firmly press tight to seat everything properly. Follow the torque tightening sequence when closing. Using a soap and water solution, spray the seams around the Starfighter Express. Remove the air valve cap and apply 4 psi of air pressure into the enclosure. No bubbles indicate a proper seal.
put the air valve cap back on. Any indications of bubbling are signs of an improper seal. If this happens, repeat the closing steps and field test steps. Starfighter Express installation is now complete.